Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and... How's it going everybody? Tyler Schwartz here with another Tyler Teaches, where I teach you some of my favorite tricks and steps. Today we are covering the second part of the Bibi Abiyaye Ed Sheeran dance thing. Um, you guys did a great job last time. Got that first part nice and ready to go. We are ready to start that part two, which is a little bit um, trickier. So we're gonna have to be patient with the first half, pretty straightforward Irish, and then Oh no, then <laughs> the second half is just um, a weird Frankenstein trick combination. But it's a fun one. Um, so I challenge you to try and pick it up. If not, learn how it's done, how that, how that piece came to be. Um, and at the end of it, if you feel like it, you too can jump into a pool. <laughs> Maybe take your shoes off first though. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, become one of the uh, members of this lovely channel um, and hit that little bell button because that will tell you exactly when my videos come out. I like to be consistent with this but I never am so that helps. <laughs> um, what else? Oh and comment below what steps you want to see next or what tricks you want to see us break down next. With that let's get on to the step. Okay so we're doing the opening half, which is on the more, I wouldn't say easier side, but it's its more straightforward. Um, it's one of my favorite just intro combinations to a, to a treble reel. It's four bars, just dead on, solid, rinka. And you can't, you can't beat it, you know? It's just, it's just always, it's always great. So we're gonna go through that right now. So, it's, it follows the same pattern of a slow treble followed by a fast treble. Slow treble, fast treble, slow treble, fast treble, hop treble, and bank lick canto. Um, which we've learned already. So when we get to that part, you'll already know that part. So it's great. So we're starting with a regular slow treble. Into. And treble bedlam. And you want to really be gallopy. And I always say, in, for most, most of the time, a slow treble will have a very controlled ankle. You're really controlling all of this area. Very controlled. But then when you go into faster troubles, you loosen a little bit of the, that, those tendons, a little bit of the ankle. And that's what gives you that gallopy sound, that little snap to it. It's all coming from that loose ankle. Okay. And treble, and treble. I love how we just, a fast treble is, and treble. And treble, and treble. That's, that's our way of saying fast treble, I guess. But, I don't know. I'm sure we all have different names for it. Comment below what you call fast treble. <laughs> oh, and, you know, make your fast troubles too. And treble, but long. Now, as soon as you're done with that gallop of treble, you're gonna actually go on top of that left foot, okay, and land in on it. Okay, to separate that a little bit, but it's all very smooth, it, it all connects. Two, three, and... There you go. And while we're at it, take it on the left foot as well, so we're going to do it twice. We're going to go... Okay, connect it all together. Two, three, and... Okay, two, three, and... There we go. One more time. Two, three, and. Okay. And if you're having trouble with that rhythm, I really uh, highly recommend breaking it down and just doing the gallop into the gallop treble. Like practicing that a lot. Is, is... It's just a really good way of learning that. Um, because you can do that with a lot of, you can do that, you can do a bunch of different things, but it really starts with that part, that foundation right there. Okay, but we're doing just, and we're 
we're just hopping on top of it afterwards. But, but taking that part off and just practicing the gallop treble and the separating of the slow treble and the fast treble. You don't want it to be you don't want it to be two fast trebles in a row or two slow trebles. You really want to separate the two. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna move on to the next part. So we did. Now we're doing a similar thing. We're doing a slow to fast treble combination again, but we're pulling it back. We're pulling it back to, to our left foot in front, and we're gonna do a back treble. Okay? And treble and back treble down. Into. That we're doing that. I think I've done a video on back troubles, so if you want another refresher on back troubles, head on over to that video. It's very, uh, very insightful. Um, <laughs> but in that video, I explain how, like, uh, in particular, uh, going under the heel is a, is pretty advanced, and you want to kind of start by just going on the side of your foot and slowly get closer to making that underneath and directly underneath your foot as you jump. Um, but yeah, we'll head over to that video if you need extra help. Um, we're going to keep moving though. So we're doing hop treble, hop treble, down. And we're, and we're jumping over to our right foot so that we can prep for... Okay, and we're only doing two of them, but I'm just showing you how they kind of connect together. Okay, two, three, and... Good, again, two, three, and... Good. Two, three, and... There we go. So, here we are. We're going to combine the two together. So we did half treble and treble. Okay, so we're doing all four of them together. Here we go. Two, three, and... Oh. Wrong one. Sorry about that. Two, three, and... There we go. Two, three, and... There we go, there we go, there we go. See how it kind of just flows. It's just such a nice combination right there. Nice little package of pretty much four bars. We're almost at four bars. We have one more piece, and we've already learned it. Um, it's the hop treble switch bank click into. So we're bringing that from the previous step. We're echoing it again here. So we're going to do our two slow fast fronts into back trebles into. All right. So here we go. We're going to start that off. So what we've already learned, and we just tack on. Here we go. Two, three, and. Four, two, three, and. So we've got all the way through our first half of the dance using that etcha bull and bank click into. It kind of breaks it up to then transition into the next thing. Here we go. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and. There we go. <laughs> it also makes for a good second half as well, because that eight, two, three, eight, two, three, you can't tell. Yeah. So, um, let's take that one more time, one more time, just to make sure. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and. Okay. Now we're going to do a hop treble in toe, but we're going to drop our heel actually. Hop treble in la pump. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I did drop heels like a long time ago. I might do a revisited video. Comment below if you'd like a revisited drop heel video where, where we practice drop heels. But um, hop treble in toe. After tiddly toe is nothing more, if it's the same space as. See, it's, it fits the same amount of space, so that heel fits directly in between those rhythms. Hop, treble, and toe. Okay. So, 
I'll leave that up to you. It's a modification. If you want to just do the regular, it works totally fine. Um, I challenge the uh, challenge you to try and do that drop heel. We're gonna do a bang there though. Hop, jump, up and pipe, bang. And we're bring, and we're and intentionally we are going to that corner, 45 degree angle over there. Boom. Over here. <laughs> it is not. It is not here. It is definitely over there. This is where we get kind of into into left field a bit. So we're bringing it over there. All my weight's going with me too. So when I'm going here, I'm going with all my weight. Two, three, and cool. Or without the heel. Two, three, and so. And you can lift that. I think in the in the heat of it, the the speed of it, when you start getting faster, I don't think there's going to be too much time to get that lift. Um, but if you can do it, bonus points, I'd say. Cool. How's the camera doing? Are we still on? Yeah. Good. Wait. What time is it? Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we're doing a one-footed pullback from here. All our weights here. We're gonna go tip toe heel. Okay. Practice just that on its own. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Again, bonus points if you can keep your arms on for it. Um, <laughs> but you want that rhythm. Okay. So, so you're on this angle, you're going to go one, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. And that bang is going to be here. All right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ready? Two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. Five. So we're doing two of them in a row. <laughs> that dodge is getting kind of kind of kind of crazy in uh in the second part. Um, yeah, and you're finishing still over here. So we got something else. <laughs> it doesn't get it, it gets even it gets even weirder. <laughs> okay, so let's break it down a little bit further. Um, so we did. We got that. Side. So, I will tell you, our dancing we're always sticklers for trying to keep our, our lines and our locked knees and all that. You gotta kind of bend this a little bit. <laughs> it's definitely easier to, to use your knees and thighs and all that to, to get, generate the power for that. Um, what else? I'm doing that with the, with the floor. I'm, I'm like... Scuffing up. Okay. Um, yeah. What else can I say for that? Um, um, to get even more like dissecty of that's not a word. Dissecty of the uh, of the piece. Particularly on my foot, my on my right foot, all my weights on my right foot, but as far as being like all the way on my toes or sitting back kind of on my heels, I'm sitting more back on my heels. And so that will allow me to slight, ever so slightly pick up that toe. Okay? And we've talked a lot about how we need that for some rhythms, some tricks like this. We need to separate just, a, just enough off the floor so that there can be a sound to make. If it doesn't get off the floor, it kind of just gets a little drag off the floor. Okay, so you need that little bit, little bit of space, and you can generate that by kind of rolling back on the heel a little bit as you're coming back, if that makes sense. Okay. Back to the step. So we did... Okay. So we did pull back, and we're just, we're just dropping our heel there. One, two. So don't, don't... Uh, overthink that one as much. Okay, that's just it. 
That's just something you want to practice. Sometimes it's easier to practice it when you're holding on to two things or holding on to the wall. Okay, for just a little bit of support, I always call it, it's always good to have training wheels every so often, you know, especially when you're learning a new trick. So holding on to two uh, chairs or a wall, you know, that can help with the stability to practice that even further. Um, but it is a crazy trick. It may take more than a couple times to really figure it out. So don't get too uh, discouraged if it doesn't immediately work for you because it just doesn't. It didn't work for me immediately. I had to work for it. So don't worry about that. So we did that. Big fun trick of the day. We're not done yet. So that's kind of the rhythm, the speed of it. So we're here. Our weight's on our right foot. Um, <laughs> I'll just show you what the move is, the next trick, is, is, is what we're doing. Um, and I'd say that the back treble video we were talking about earlier will help because the left foot is just doing a, is doing that. Okay. So this guy's just doing a left, a left foot back treble and then I'm landing back on the right foot. You, you, you may be hearing this, you're not, I'm missing a, a rhythm. The only other rhythm that's in there is actually just a pull back off the right foot again. So what we've been doing here, that, we're doing that and combining it with a back treble. Okay, and I'm getting that blurry visual because as soon as I do that, I'm kicking it up and trying to lift it as much as I can key phrase as much as I can. Okay, the combination of the two, so if I'm practicing this, and then practicing, com combining the two, we get that rhythm. Woo! I wanna say this might be the sweatiest video. Ooh, I chose to wear the black shirt on purpose. Uh, and you can find more of these, at my merch uh, website. All proceeds go into the channel. <laughs> Anyways, quick plug over. Um, yeah, so you don't get to see my sweat. Um, so, that's a fun trick there. But I highly recommend, again, isolate the two feet. The two feet are really doing super different jobs in that trick. Okay? <laughs> so you almost have to practice one leg and isolate and practice that one leg until it starts to become kind of automatic. You don't have to think about it kind of one of these things, and then really focus and practice on the right foot, and then try to connect the two together. And if it's not working again, go back to one, go back to the other. Okay, so if I'm just practicing the left foot, I'm just trying to get that fast treble, so hop. Okay, but I am trying to like get off the floor with my right, right foot. Okay, okay, and this leg is just going, I'm dropping my heels a few times here and there. It's okay. You, you honestly, you don't want the heels to drop. You want it to be a clean, clear sound. Um, it's okay if the heels drop every so often. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. It's a fun step, fun steps. Okay, so we got our, we have that and our, okay, combine it together. Okay. Now, to put that into the step, that's when it gets kind of crazy. Again. We're challenging ourselves today. Part one, pretty difficult, but part two is a challenge. This is a challenge. It's, it's okay. We're gonna try and do this. So we did into into a pullback treble. Okay. So <laughs> three, two, three, and four, two, three, and oh, and I missed my back treble again. <laughs> Three, two, three, and four, two, three, and into a double click uh, that I call a split click or a lift click, lift double. There's a lot of names for it. It's it's one of those um, where you get instead of just going, you're actually lifting your right leg in between to get that extra little separate sound to it, click, click and toe. Instead of, you know, so you want that little hold there on the lift. 
<laughs> Woo, I am out of breath. It's okay, it's okay. We, we're almost there. <laughs> so, <laughs> your right leg is going to love you after this step, by the way. My right leg is a little, a little tired, for sure. Um, da -da -dum -bum, da -da -dum -bum, pull it back, and off your right foot, you're going to do that same thing. So you're going to lift up, you're going to lift up, click your right foot, click up, click up here, lift your right foot, and then click and toe. And bonus points if you drop the heel after as well. <laughs> so, all right, and that's it. That's the end of the step. It's it. That's, that's all. That's, that's all. <laughs> There's no more craziness. A lot of craziness here, and no more. Um, and then you jump in the pool. <laughs> All right, so that whole combination is two, three, and. And then jump in the pool. <laughs> I remember doing this video, and I was like, there's a lot of things that could go wrong, so unless I hit everything, I ain't jumping in the pool. So you really only get one take of jumping in the pool. So, <laughs> finally got, got it right. Dove right in again, just as sweaty as I am right now. <laughs> so, combining it all together, it's gonna sound like this. Ready, nice and slow. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and... Jump in the pool. <laughs> all right. Woo! All right. Where are we at with the time? Okay. We have enough time to do one more run of it. Let's see it. Ready? Here we go. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and. Oh, I goofed it. I goofed it. And I usually say, keep going. Always keep going, but. Ooh, that one's that, that place is a hard place to keep on going. <laughs> there we go. Seven, two, three, and eight, two, three, and let's try and put the whole thing together. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, I, I hope this has been really fun. Um, and at least like a challenge as well too. Some of this, some of this stuff is uh, not necessarily native Irish tricks. They pull a little bit of tap, a little bit of this obscure, just like weird thought rhythms I have. But yeah, that's what makes this stuff fun. Learning new styles is always good. So we're actually gonna date it back to the part one. If we remember that, we're gonna do the whole thing together. Here we go. And hopefully I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> Seven, two, three, and big two, three, and. Check in the pool. <laughs> All right. So this here. And you can run it to that, you can hit the rewind and rehearse it to that if you want. Or if you want to dance it to the track, which definitely, spoiler alert, is a little bit faster, you can do that as well. Um, but yeah. Woo! Sweat brought to you by Irish Dance. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this as much as I enjoyed teaching it. If you do enjoy this content, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to know when the next fun video is coming out. Um, let me know what steps or tricks you want to see next. Visit my merch uh, to pick up a fun shirt uh, to show that you've learned a crazy trick on this, on this channel. All the proceeds and profits from the merch area um, goes directly into the channel. Um, I put all that money straight back into the channel via investing in better microphones, cameras, lights. All the stuff you're seeing is, is for the channel, for you guys, and I appreciate you. Um, thank you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.